With private GPT, you can upload your documents and chat with your books and PDFs. It's like chatting with the author of the book. The chat is private, free, open source, and local. It works even without an internet connection. With the updated private GPT, you get not only the answers to your questions, but also the sources of the answers. Here, we ask, who was the richest man in Babylon? And we get the answer, Arkad. The source of this answer lies on pages 20 and 50. When we verify the answer, we see on page 20, Arkad was mentioned to be the richest man in Babylon. So let's dive in to see how to set up Private GPT to chat with our documents. Private GPT was recently updated, and many new features like the sources of the answer have been added recently. It is well documented and is in active development. We will go step by step to set up Private GPT locally on our machine. The installation process uses Poetry. So before starting to set up Private GPT, we need to install Poetry on our machine. The installation of Poetry differs on Mac and Windows. On Mac, we use Brew to install Poetry. On this Mac, it is already installed. We can verify this by typing brew list. If we scroll up, we see poetry. If not installed, you can easily install poetry using the command brew install poetry. When poetry is installed, we can start the installation process of private GPT. The first step is to clone the repository. We navigate to GitHub e Martinez private GPT and copy the link. In our project folder, we clone the repository and switch to the new folder. From inside the folder, we start Visual Studio Code. If you want to change the settings of your private GPT, you need to change the settings.yaml file before installing private GPT. Here, you can change the port the local LLM or the vector store, among other settings. In this tutorial, we go with the default recommended settings. You can check the documentation and change the local model or other settings based on your requirements. The next step is to set up a virtual environment. The documentation uses PyEnv, but we are used to VEnv. If you manage your environments with Conda or other solutions, feel free to use it. Here, we set up a virtual environment and activate it. Make sure the name of the virtual environment appears before the prompt, before installing the packages. In our case, it's vnv. Now that we have set up our virtual environment, it's time to install the dependencies using Poetry. The installation goes fast and we can clear the screen. After the dependencies are installed, we can run the setup script. In the setup process, the LLM and other components are downloaded. Depending on the size of the LLM, this can take a while. After the embeddings and LLMs are downloaded, we can enable the GPU. This step is depending on your hardware and your operating system. Here we use a Mac Mini M1, which has 8 GB of RAM and GPU. So we use the optional command for Mac with Metal GPU as mentioned in the documentation. Please check your hardware and the documentation for this step. The next step is to run private GPT. Here we can check if it uses the GPU. In our case, it finds the GPU and utilizes it. The last step is to navigate to the UI on the port defined in the settings. In our case, 8001. We see the activities in the logs and the private GPT UI shines after a clean installation. 
Now we can upload our 122 page PDF book, The Richest Man in Babylon, using the Gradio UI of private GPT. The parsing, splitting, embedding, metadata extraction, and storage in our local ChromaDB will be done in the background. After the ingestion of the document is done, the document will be listed and you can start asking your questions. Here we can ask, who was the richest man in Babylon? And the answer comes back, the richest man in Babylon was named Arkad. This answer is based on the information on pages 50 and 20. We do some fact checking and sure enough, Arkad is mentioned on page 20 to be the richest man in Babylon. We can continue with our questions as if we are chatting with the author. Was he the king? The LLM knows the context and answers, no, Arkad was not the king, and continues with some more information based on pages 30 and 31. Finally, we can ask a general question. Does Babylon exist today? And private GPT answers no based on the information in the book on pages 8 and 12, as we are still in the query docs mode. We can go and change the mode to LLM chat. Here we can directly communicate with a chosen large language model. We send the prompt, identify yourself, which LLM is used. As we did not change the settings, we get the answer, I'm Mistral, a large language model from Mistral AI. The beauty of private GPT is that it follows and extends the OpenAI API standard. So we can use our free local open source private LLM or set up another profile to use OpenAI. Either way, private GPT is a handy tool. Good luck installing and using private GPT to chat with your books and documents.